I'm going to base this patch around the bouncing ball concept, where one channel of maths causes a ball to bounce and the other channel controls its speed. But instead of trying to create realistic physics, I'm going to use this time-space canvas as a jumping off point for a layered sound with its own rhythm. Let's use an inharmonic drone from the Telharmonic as our first sound source. We'll engage cycling on both maths channels and patch the output of the slower channel to the fall of the faster one. We'll use the faster channel to strike the LXD to turn this drone into percussive events. Let's also use that slower function to control flux. This will cause a little less harmonic content at the beginning of each longer cycle. Also, it will cause a little more tonal content in the noise output at the same time. Let's send the noise output to the other LXD channel. I'm going to clock the Rene X clock with the faster cycle's EOR output. And send X gates to strike this LXD channel. Using X gates lets us make these noise events more sparse than the other voice if we want to. Let's also use the C gates to clock the woggle bug and generate a timed random voltage for modulating the centroid parameter. Let's create a third voice to layer with these two. I'll ring mod the H output and the STO variable out together. We can use another output from maths to create timed events here. And let's also sequence the STO for some variation in timbre. Now let's vary the length and speed of each of these longer cycles. We'll use the EOC output to clock the Y channel of Rene and patch YCV to its fall input for a new fall time on each cycle. One last potential variation. Let's self-modulate the Wogglebug's internal clock rate using the smooth output, and let that internal clock turn cycling on and off on the math channel that's creating these events. This gives us shorter bursts of events instead of a constant barrage. <laughs>